Welcome back to Metroid Prime. I've been waiting a long time to say that. We're here in the Chozo ruins. We got uh, war wops coming after us. And uh, we have no weapons. So we got some weird seismic activity happening here in the Hive Totem, deep in the Chozo ruins. That sounds like something that could make us stronger is hidden somewhere in there, I am sure. I like that. I like that too. I heard seismic activity. I would like the earthquake power up, please. Let's go for it. Samus so, takes one big step and causes an earthquake. So with these war wasps, they come out of their hives and uh, after a certain amount of time, they will come back. Okay, I was wondering if there was a case of respawning enemies after your save point, or if they literally just come out of the hive. A plasmite. It's a plasmite. Ah, they like heat. Wait, this is a this is a dark area, and these things produce light. I see. See, it's all dark now. I do like that they enjoy their own heat source. And when threatened, they just give off heat, which they love. These are tangleweeds. Ooh, ow. I saw tiny barbs. All they do is just kind of keep you hidden, but there are other bad uh, tangleweeds that can actually hurt. I think these things just kind of keep you in place. Oh, that's bigger energy. These are large energies. They give you 20 units. Wow. In case you need them. Wow. We don't need it though. <laughs> we don't. We're good because because we're you're you're a you're, I I am I am a good Metroid player and I've also played this uh, doing uh, trying to gather data and yeah well time for a boss time for a boss uh huh time for a boss I want that I can't have that right now oh filling up with nasty sick water oh gross oh, that looks gross uh, I remember this boss this is not a fun boss. I mean, nothing's fun when you basically have nothing. You mm -hmm. only have your power. But then they throw so this So much of war wasps! Oh god, it's tons of them! Then they spin around! The buzzing's in yeah, my ear. Buzzing's in my ear. Uh, oh. You gotta shoot it open and you can scan that. This is the Hive Mecha! Security unit program to work with predatory hive dwellers. Ooh. So basically, they're working with the bees to keep me out of their stuff. They're working with the bees, no! They train, shelter, and work with hive-dwelling predators. Unarmed, they rely on their hive bees to handle any threats. Oh my god, really? They're, 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 they're housing war wasps. Dude, these, are, these are like angry war wasps. This is like, we've been in here for 1,200 years. We're angry, ready to kill. Oh dear lord. Ah. And they hurt, and they, and, uh, they can actually push you off. That's the worst. These are special war wasps. You gotta scan them too. These are ram war wasps because they will. They push you. They will. They, they like to drive uh, dodge rams. I mean, they will ram you and push you off. I was about to say built ran tough, but no, that's a Ford commercial. Never mind. Pretty sure that's the only place you can scan these things. So. Uh, oh yeah, so get these. The first time you see them is the best time to scan them because you never know when they might not show up again. When you might make this entire species extinct. Good job, Sam. <laughs> You have, like, a little bit of chance to take take them out when they stop and they're about to ram you, but you better make sure that you, uh, do well to start out with. They got two rows. They can just stay here and just press A a whole bunch. This is the Dark of Souls of, of Metroid. Not working, working great. Uh, 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 uh. No, it isn't. They have a map. <laughs> ow. Ow behind you. Ow behind you. Ow behind you. Oh, okay. How, okay. how did it miss? There's just one guy here. Got him. All right. Take it out. Take it out. Boom! Yeah, that's it! Okay, I was thinking of a different boss. Never mind. But hey, missile pack! That looks nice. What is that? Want? Oh. Want? I like want. it. It's the missile launcher! Oh, the launcher itself! Oh, finally we got the missile launcher back. Shween. Look at how good it looks. My giant Pringles can on my arm can now launch missiles. And now we can destroy war wasp hives. Ooh, I didn't know that. When you destroy the war wasps hives, they will not come back until you leave the room and they build it again, oh, well. but... That's a special door that only takes missiles, so we can go in that other door we saw earlier in the hub. Now we're thinking like a Metroid game. Ooh. This... Well, th no, uh, that's no, a small no, tunnel. No, not, not, th <laughs> not that. No, the thing in front of it. This thing! It's an energy tank! Yeah! Oh, nice. Let's see, I think we have room for, like, 20 of them on top of our health bar. So... Now that we are uh, getting into the nitty-gritty of the collectibles, mm -hmm. there are 49 missile tanks, 
14 E tanks. Jesus. And four power bombs. Oh. Oh God! Why do you have to spoil it, UDJ God? Oh, just now we're looking for it. So. You, 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 oh my gosh! Ow! Ow! Still a little bit of hurdy water around here, but not too bad. <laughs> so wait, was there not an entrance on the other side of that door, or do we just want to come back here? We're just, we're just coming back here. I think uh, one one way would have led to like a dead end. Oh, okay. I, I have, I'm taking the most efficient route. Trust me. Oh, thank you. I worked. I worked very hard on uh, trying to route this a good way, which is why we're not doing this live. Well, I was hoping that you know, when I when I go on a Disney ride, I don't want it to take five days. I love day long Disney rides. <laughs> what? Standing in line? <laughs> My favorite ride! <laughs> Whoa! Woo! Absolute adventure. Map station. Where I got that. So we get the automat for the Chozo ruins here. And good to go. And now we get to see the vast expanses that we will eventually get to. Oh my god, that's so much. Yeah, it's a pretty uh, sizable map there. It's, aye, pre aye. it's pretty chalky, but eh, not too bad. Yeah, I do think the advent of the teleport rooms in... Uh, where, where did that start? Does that start There's for you? There's a hidden wall back there. You blew up with the missile, and look what's there. Okay. A missile upgrade! Yeah, that's probably why I never finished Prime, is because getting lost and not having the ability to teleport to different areas, just just a slog. Yeah, there's no there's no fast travel, and this game, more than the other Metroid Primes, has a lot of back and forthing. Yeah. Like, not like, you know, backtracking, but I mean like, back and forthing, like, I, I'm creating a divot in the floor, I'm going back to the to these rooms so often. And they and they fix that in later games. And I think for now, for this introductory Metroid Prime game, uh, I think I think we'll uh, we'll do just fine. Well, I mean, you gotta stumble a couple times when you're creating a a new take on a long-running franchise. Besides, out of all of the Metroid Primes, I think three might be my favorite. God, I remember when Metroid Prime Three came out. I do too. Because oh, there was oh, uh, wait no, there was barely anything else on the Wii to play. <laughs> But Metroid Prime 3 was there. WarioWare Smooth Moves was there, too. It was, but that was, that was the best game for a long time, too. We've already done that one, though. We did already do that one. <laughs> God, that's going way back in the past. <laughs> we were still at the old place. Oh. We had the, the old microphones. Oh, God. Oh, the old capture cards. Oh, ah! That's too far into the past. Let's not. Thanks, Metroid Prime, for... Digging into the We're confines gonna of my mind. Take you back to the past to remind ourselves of terrible, uh, obsolete re recording <laughs> interfaces, <laughs> devices that we're using not anymore. We'd rather have, have a dazzle card. <laughs> Fuck that! No, <laughs> we don't want the dazzle card. We'd rather have a camcorder. Okay, yeah, that would do better than a dazzle with card. With Vaseline smeared over the lens. Yeah, now I'm just imagining how this game would look on a Dazzle capture card, and how much, like, graininess there would be. Ugh, it's disgusting. I still have that card, by the way. <laughs> so we need to go to Talon real quick. I thought we were on Talon. Well, t the Talon overworld, I mean. Oh, okay. Not Talon 1 through 4. No, 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 no. Just, uh... Couple of things to do here. It's a, like, like I said, a lot of back and forth, and we're gonna be going back to the Chozo ruins here in a minute. Back to the lab again. Not again. Back <laughs> to the lab again. There's probably gonna be a lot of that being referenced. I'm sorry, in advance. Gotta love these injects, that tried not. <laughs> Hold on, processing new in joke for series. <laughs> Fine song that sounds good. Coming up here, and then uh, take that guy out. Make our way across here now. Oh yeah. They'll stay there for a little while. Hey, you can Missiles. kill those guys now. Missiles, take them out. Yeah. Not bad, not bad. Here we go. <gasps> yes, thank you. Thank you for going underneath the waterfall. It's gorgeous. This here is... Uh, <laughs> it spits the X. It's a blood flower. Ew. It's basically a big poisonous thing. 
When you blow it up, it uh, it spews a whole bunch of poisonous gas. Ugh. For a five meter radius. Jesus. So, uh, can't really kill it with our power beam. We just got to use a missile. Oh, actually, we did use a power beam. Oh. Well, I think it only works when its pedals are open. Oh, that was always my favorite thing to do. Just shoot the doors with the missile shields and just watch them bounce back. Poing! I think I actually killed an enemy once like that. <laughs> hey, Sam, what's up? Oh! I'm sorry, I was trying to ah! open the door. Ah, my arm! A whole bunch of these guys down here. I think you found an antlion nest. A former antlion nest. Oh, look at the smoke. Yeah. That's when you know you've been shooting like a gamer. All I can do is just touch this against a bare skin on one of these things and... Oh, look at there! Another missile expansion. Having a lot of missiles is going to help us out in this early game because we have so little right now. That's all we came down here for, really. Because down that way it takes us to Magmore Caverns, the uh, lava place, and we definitely are not equipped to deal with anything there. That was one of the first dead ends I found, because it's too hot to be in this room. Oh yeah, that is a thing, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Where Samus doesn't automatically, like, shut down, but she's just like, ow, 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 get out, get out, please. And the visor just, ah! uh, and the visor's just going nuts, saying, it's too hot. You know what's really hot in here? You must be experiencing an Ohio or Florida summer. It is way too hot for humans out here. Laughs in Arizona. <laughs> well, that's just desert. Talk about, like, non-desert areas. Well, we'll make our way back here. Uh, let's see. I got, I got my map here. Um, Where are we heading there? Metroid, Metroid. Well, we've got a couple of uh, things I want to <sighs> scan. We're probably going to... Yeah, we're, we're going to get a big uh, lore dump here. And uh, kind of understand our reason for being here. You mean it wasn't just happenstance? I mean, coming here was happenstance, but there's more here than we expect. Oh. The pirates are here for a reason, too. Just imagine if it was something disappointing like harvesting gold. Nothing like that. Oh, no. Nothing like that. <laughs> Master Ridley, we found a diamond next to bedrock. Now you've been playing Minecraft again. No, really, we found a get out of here. But, but, but sir, we it's huge, it's the size of I said no more of your Minecraft business. We found it on Talon 4. You found it on Talon 4? There are ways to jump back here and uh, get a power up early. I do remember that. Yes. Oh, that that that's that's nasty. Ow. That's that's a thing. That hurt. It, wow. That's an ouchie. I think that that's a seedling. A plant-based ground feeder. <laughs> they shoot dorsal spines everywhere and it hoits. It shoots its spine at you? As a tangle weed, they just slow us down. They yeah. hurt us. Like, I'm just imagining just, like, like, rupturing my spine towards you and hoping it hurts you. This is the impact crater. Oh. Something came here. Something came here. Something's down there. Oh, I like it. The intrigue is here. This here is a bit of pirate data. This is about the artifact site. Uh, the field team reports are in on an age structure of alien design built on the surface of Talon 4. Studies show the structure pro projects a containment field. Uh, okay, it's a containment field. Deep crater. Strange Chozo artifacts. Huh. So there's something in this impact crater that is being blocked off by the by uh, this this thing that needs chose our artifacts later late 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 game we're going to need to get 12 chozo artifacts hidden throughout the map we'll pick some up here and there as we go along but late game we're going to need 12 of these chozo artifacts to go down into this temple and into the impact crater and see just what these pirates wanted Turns out they wanted the 100% ending. There it is down there. So you can't scan that, can you? Oh, but we can go down there. Oh, okay. It's over here, because, uh, yeah, we're just getting some lore, too, over here. 
So this is uh, death lineages are constantly on a statuary. The statues are sentinels, blind but ever watchful they are, and have always been repositories for our most precious secrets and strongest powers. Oh yeah, they're they're definitely hiding something down there. If there's twelve of these motherfuckers, yep, absolutely there are. Yes, we have these. We have left these relics on plants across the solar system. You know, other games in the series, I'm sure. They serve as icons of peace in lands that know only war. So this is a way to, to keep their secrets out of the hands of ill hands as well. Or ill, ill-fated, uh, ill-mannered, uh, ill-meaning Ill people? Bad dudes. Bad dudes! Space pirates in particular! I kind of like the idea that, you know, in order to open this thing up, they had to split the key into 12 separate pieces and just say, Okay, you take that there, you take that there, you take that there, and don't tell me where it is. Whatever they have here is something bad. Okay, well, you know, maybe they weren't the best. Right, another thing. Congregation of Artifacts that hold the Great Poison at, The Great Poison The at Great bay. Poison. Ooh. <gasps> I know what this is setting up. try to destroy it, only oh. to fail in every attempt. We scatter the artifacts across the planet for their protection, and only a few have fallen into invader hands. Oh, so. that's cool. So they've got some of the artifacts already. Some of them are still hidden, though. Huh. Okay. The uh, unholy yes. worm is met by the Great Defender. Ooh, I wonder who that could be. Hint, hint, it's Ridley. Hee 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 hee. Uh, answer me this. Guide one. the newborn. Oh, hey. That's, that's us. That's, that's me. us. I'm, <laughs> I'm a whittle bird. All right, answer you what? Uh, does this game... I'm not going to spoil anything, but does it directly set up the second game? Yes. Okay, cool. Oh, one key is there. This is a Chozo artifact. Collect it, then scan the totems here for clues and the locations of the remaining ones. We get all twelve- like, remember in Wind Waker you had to find the nine pieces of the Triforce? Yes. This is what that is, essentially. Okay. That's not too bad. Some of them you can pick up here and there, some of them you need to come back with a special late game item to pick up, but uh, here we got the uh, Artifact of Truth, the first of twelve artifacts. And this is where we basically put uh, the, the artifacts when we get them. This is, you know, the artifact thing. This is our logbook with everything that we've been doing so far. Her scowl. <laughs> Action hero scowl. Ah, nice. So all of these totems have their own log. I don't know if I get all of them, but we're gonna get most of them. Like, uh, this is, uh, this is a great hall. This is the artifact of world. Okay. Yeah, like this one, that can't, don't worry about that one, but uh, this one. This tells us uh, a grove, grove in one of the four corners this is the artifact of Chozo. Okay, can I admit something? That's the artifact of truth, the one we just got. Restore the power to this totem, so we're good there. What do you got? Can I just... I'm, I'm just scanning stuff here, so... Uh, when I first played this, I was so big into getting 100% mm -hmm. that I just scanned everything and didn't read a lick of it. That's probably why I got lost. Well, reading all this, it's actually re really deep. I, I, I'm, I'm glad I'm reading all these, to be honest. Yeah, it's, it, it creates a different depth of the game I didn't have before all these years ago. It's good to look back, but now I'm just realizing, no wonder you got lost, idiot. You didn't read this. You just saw a bunch of scannable things. It was just like, yeah! Make the points go up! Make the number bigger! Kid in a candy store. We have the edge. Fendrana's edge. The artifact of spirit. Oh. So just little hints to give you a, a little clue as to where, just to find these artifacts. I have a map here that says where they are. Sun chamber. And we don't need to worry about them until late game. But like I said, we'll get a couple on the way. We don't need to worry about it. Just know that underneath this is something called the Great Poison. Some of you might know what that is already. Yep. Right. Wolf. Wolf. Uh, wolf. I mean, let me tell. <laughs> and uh, let me tell you. It got out. Of course it did. It got out. Oh yeah. The greatest of poisons is underneath here, but little f little, little fingernails of that poison, they're leak they're leaking out. Doesn't help with the fact that the fucking space pirates are sh are shitting on everything too. Using pickaxes trying to delve into what we have here. No, they're no, they're they're strip mining the place, blowing things up. They're doing bad stuff. So really, this is an environmental game. We got to stop these space pirates from destroying the planet. <gasps> oh with their unfettered greed! Ah, oh, Samus, I knew you were a part of the Captain Planet crew. 
All right, well, we got our context as to why we're here. Uh, we got some missile upgrades, and we got about 15, and uh, the more we find, it's gonna, it's gonna help us out in the long run. So, uh, doing good, doing good. Uh, we can go back to the Chozo ruins now, uh, and uh, we'll get one more thing. Uh... Oh, keep me in suspense, please. Yeah, yeah, we'll do it. Yeah, yeah, we, we got plenty to do still, don't worry. See, now you're just making me want to go back and play Metroid Prime. And that's the point. You're, uh, Do you're Doom Eternal. Let's play one of me to, you know, go and play Doom Eternal. So. Fuck yeah. <laughs> so, the, that's the point of these. Is they make you, go they make go you realize now, that yeah. games are actually good. Fun games are fun. Go figure. And especially when you give them a second chance. See, now I'm just curious because the trilogy has fixes to 1, 2, and 3. Yes, it does. What got fixed? Uh, d Out of curiosity. A couple of things here and there, like like this, like I said, this is version 1.00 on the GameCube. So this is like the most, like the first version, the one that was released on 2002. The most sacred. The most buggy, haha. -ha. Like there's a couple of obscure bugs here and there, but the biggest one between this and the Wii version, no space, no, uh, n no ball jump. What? No ball jump. In this one? In this one. Okay. No ball jump. Only bombs. Ooh. Only bomb jumps. Ooh. And that makes a couple of, uh... Makes a couple of, uh, tanks and missile upgrades a little difficult. But not for this guy. <laughs> I am a professional ball jumper. If, if I'm kinda... Or, sorry, bomb jumper. If, if I'm kinda, you know, uh... Toten up my, uh, my, my, my uh, skill uh, in Metroid Prime. Put up Prime. the guns. Put up the guns. Yeah, that's, uh, uh, that's, that's because, you know, I played this game when I was in 8th grade. I didn't get shooters, and, you know, I, I really wasn't into it. It was it was just too difficult, too hard. My fingers kept hurting. But, you know, since then, I've played Half-Life 2. I've played Bioshock 1, 2, and 3. I've played all these other great shooters. I understand how shooters work now, and uh, so... And I, I know how Metroid games work now, too. That the, the idea of exploration, and, of course, Dark Souls, you know, helped, didn't... Helped, helped as well, so... <laughs> I thought you were about to say didn't help any. <laughs> Ooh, I want that! So with a new mindset, and a new stage in my life, I can I can give Metroid Prime the fair shake that it deserves. But here's, our, here's another boss. It also didn't help that I think Metroid Prime was like the second time I tried a Metroid game. Yeah. Not, not a good choice. Should have started with 2D. I think I did, and just never finished it. Go figure. God, you could probably make a disappointing compilation of all the times I've said, yeah, I just played this and never finished it. <laughs> Jesus. Here is our boss. Oh, hello! The Plated Beetle! Ew, gross. Has a big, shiny weak point on its back. Yep, big, shiny weak point. Go get it. Wait, where did you go? That, that's ah, there we go. The small energy. This over here is the Plated Beetle. Oh, yeah, I remember this fight. Well-armored bearing insect, vulnerable only in the, only in the butt. Frontal attacks gives it an advantage. Ramming attacks, right? It has it has probably one of the easiest tells in the game, where it does it does a couple shifties and then it's just like, okay, I'm gonna come after you. <laughs> gonna come after you. The speed of a raging bull. You're giving him a little too much credit. <laughs> well, look, okay, it's a giant beetle with a fat ass. There so you, go. you think oh. it can actually? Oh, he turned okay. around too quick. It has a lunge. It's got some lunges. I think power is the best way we're gonna deal with this because he turns around too fast with the missile. Right. Yeah, come on. Go. All right, there we yeah. go. Right, bring it on, bring it on. And... Hey, you, you on, want a piece of me? On. You want a piece of me? Right, come on. You want some of this plated right, beetle? Let's go. Olay! 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 All right, come on, man. What you gonna do? You ain't got nothing. And come on. Let's go. Come on. This way. Do a little step, step, and... Olay! 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 We got him. You got a missile on that one. Hell yeah. It's dead. All right, cool. <laughs> Stop shooting at Uni J. <laughs> it's already dead. <laughs> In the practice portion, I had trouble, so I'm just... Oh, okay. go, go, go. <laughs> the Morph Ball. We got the Morph Ball back. It feels so weird to not have the Morph Ball back. Oh, wait, it was just a ball over her suit? What? I've been trying to figure out how the Morph Ball works all these years, and I... What? I don't know how it works, but it works. What? I think it's just Chozo technology, you know? I, okay. I, think, I think it... I think everybody... Especially the, the space pirates are just baffled by this. Oh, I think so. Yeah, every time they see it, it's a brand new horror. It's like that goddamn morph ball. We try to shoot her, and then she just turns into a ball and rolls away. 
I'm just believing that everybody in the Chozo tribe are really good masseuses, and that's why you're able to, like, bend and flex like this. It's like the ultimate masseuse came in, and was just like, oh, wow, I can, I can do so many things. I can even float now. So now that we've got the Morph Ball, we can go into Talon 4 yeah. for, to, to move on with the game. But that'll be for next time. For now, there are still yet more collectibles to get. I love it. You're becoming me. Time to get 100% in this game I really like. Yeah. I'm, I'm following a guide, too. This, this specific guide says, we can go here to get some things, or you can move on. Yeah, you can go, you can go for this. I'm hoping I don't miss anything. I'm hoping I don't. <laughs> We don't want another Super Metroid. We don't want another <laughs> Super Metroid. <laughs> I felt so bad because it looked like you had everything correct. We still don't know what that missing thing was. I think somebody found it. Oh, thank God. I think somebody had found it. Oh, don't leave me in suspense. I have to know. Because you know what I did after we did that Let's Play? You checked. Yeah, I went back and checked some of the uh, save states that you had. Because there was one part I thought I knew exactly where it was. And I was wrong. You had gotten it. Let's see if I can fight it. Yeah, oh my god, that's such a revelation. It was in the wrecked ship. Oh, right. But where, though? Was it, like, stuck in the wall? You got a claim that says, You missed one missile pack in wrecked ship, four screens up from the bottom of the ship, and to the left is the room you missed with the missile pack at the end. Which sounds about right. So... The mystery is solved! The wrecked ship is where I missed the missile. Oh shit, let me get out the Super Nintendo Classic and let's fix this wrong. <laughs> There's still time! You have a save before the grand finale? No, the time's not- you see, the, the time isn't right for it. It's, it's, it's not a good time. Uh-huh. It's not the prime time for that. Uh, maybe when we redo Super Metroid in 15 years? Maybe we can try seven years. Because it's a prime number. There we go. I was waiting for the connection. I, I didn't piece it together because I'm fucking smooth brain when it comes to math jokes. That's an elevator to the hot place. We don't, we don't need to go yet. Yep. But uh, no we hot. do. We need to go down here. This whole thing is so we can get one collectible. I love it. This, see, this is the type of Metroid I like. You know, put me through a long, aggravating puzzle for one missile tank. Yes, please. I just love how everything works in this game. Just this, this, this little thing going up and down. It's so detailed. I like that camera angle. It's, it's, it's just so much detail in this game. I adore it. It's a fully working world. No, like, almost no room feels the same. Ooh, especially here. That's a missile tank. That's a missile tank. But how get Got some lore tank. here. Maybe read lore, get missile. Uh, our sanctuary grows by the day. This is still early on. We got technology. But this is great. Talon 4 is pretty good. Structure is honed from stone. Bridges woven with branches. Very natural place. Yeah, this is great. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, it's, it's like the Dark Crystal before the Skeksis fucked everything up. All those wild will flow around here. Wisdom this power. Is a, this is a great place. Giant bird druids. I think this, this log was called Beginning, so it was very early on when the Chozo showed up. Okay. Beetles up here thinking they can fuck with us. No need to flex on them, okay? You're stepping in on their territory. Oh! Wonderful missile tank, or energy tank. That's an energy tank, wow. Oh. That's also gonna help us a lot too. Like, you don't even know. Oh, uh, yeah. Things do a lot of damage in the later parts of the game. Having more energy is better than having less energy. Oh, is that how that works? You could probably go without a missile upgrade or two, but the energy tanks, you probably need them the most. Especially when things start to really hurt later on. I'm trying to remember, is there a section where you have to go through a small portion of hot to get the suit that prevents the hot? Or was... Which Metroid was that? Other M. Other M. Oh, and fuck. It wasn't, and, it, and it wasn't because you had to go get the suit. It's because Adam told you to yeah. not use the suit. Yeah, because you and then it says, it. You know, Samus, after seeing you almost killing yourself, uh, bo boiling yourself alive in that room, you know, it's probably okay for you to use the suit now. Yeah, imagine that. Being in a giant tin can in a volcano was somehow bad for my health. Man, I was having a good time talking about Metroid Prime and just admiring everything here. and just You, you know, knew wow, it was coming. Wow, I love Prime. And then, you, oh, yes, you can't Other tell M. me you didn't think this was coming. <sighs> I told you I finished on the ram, right? What? I beat it. Oh yeah, that was the topic of discussion in one of the Metroid games we did. Yeah, I, I, I played and beat Metroid Other M, and well, uh, you know, 
I've decided. This certainly wasn't ending. I've decided it's gonna happen. Fuck, no! We're doing it. No! We're doing other There's M. so many others we could do. Right, like like a Federation Force. Like Hunters. Which I still have. Oh yeah, I got Hunters too. Oh yeah, where's my copy of Federation Force? I still have it. <laughs> you don't want to play it, dude. I have other games to play. <laughs> okay, okay. One of which is Metroid Prime. Uh, oh, yeah. Well, I think that's a good place to stop for now. Uh, we're, we're, we're in the area we need to be. It's a good place. Got our, got full health, full missiles, and uh, we got our Morph Ball back and our missile launcher. God, the raindrops are every, actually plinking off of our hand cannon. I can't believe it. Oh, you're right. I just noticed that. That's so beautiful. The, the details in this game is just absolutely phenomenal. And uh, we'll have more time to admire more of this game next time on Metroid Prime. We'll see you then.